Hello, I, I have seen people wondering what's going on on the channel recently, and I've seen a lot of people leave the channel, a lot of subscribers leave the channel, so I think I should explain what's going on. I am on vacation. So what's going on is that there, in my local area, this thing called the, uh, I think it's called Evergreen State Fair, it's the fair in Linden, Washington, and I work there. I have I work in the floral department there. I work at a curly booth there, curly fry booth there. I have horses there that I work with. I am spending a lot of time there. I also have my uh, math finals tomorrow. Actually, I really should be studying, but I have my math finals. I've got a lot going on, and I've taken a week off of actual work, and I'm taking a week off from YouTube, or at least from my Hearts of Iron videos, which is really the job portion of YouTube. I still do this all for fun, but um, making the Hearts of Iron videos, you make enough of them, they start to get, they start to feel samey, at the very least. The, the two series I'm working on now, they've gotten kind of long, but at the same time, things are going good in them. Those two being the Grand Colombia, which I am going to bring back when I come back from this uh, vacation, and Brazil, in both of which in Kaiserreich. And, uh, Honestly, I'm not all that upset that people are leaving because of this. I haven't really explained it. I haven't had a lot of time to explain it. Especially because it seems like I'm only uploading the Stellaris games, which, you know, I am. And you might be wondering if it's too much to record 40 minutes of Hearts of Iron 4 every day, then why are you able to record an hour of Stellaris? And you'd be surprised how much easier it is for me to play an hour of early game Stellaris. Oh, and instead of playing Hearts of Iron 4, because in Hearts of Iron 4, especially when it's modded, I run into issues where <laughs> the game crashes. That's kind of why I haven't been uploading anything. It's because I was trying to do some a continuation of the Brazil game, and it just crashed on me. And I decided, you know, I'm, I'm just taking, I'm just going to take a break. Just going to step back and do something else for a little bit. I'll be, I'll be back. I'm not going away forever. You guys can't keep me out of this forever. And when I come back, I hope to come back strong. July was what was the single best month on the channel. <clears throat> and August has been kind of a reset to that. It's been going pretty slow, but it's not that bad. It really isn't. Mostly I've just been really tired. Before this, I've been work I had been working a lot because during the summer, uh, my job is relatively seasonal. So during the summer, I've been doing about 40 hours a week while also doing college classes, and now for this week, I work three separate jobs, technically four, but the driving job is already done, it's only the beginning and the end, that I need to drive cars to and from the event, and after that, three jobs continuously over the week, as well as that math final, which I hope I'll do well on, it's going to be a very good relief off my shoulder when I'm done with that pre-calculus two I really hope that I'll be able to get do good on it. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm doing Stellaris this week. I'm having fun with it. It's just I'm playing it because it's effectively the reason why I started this YouTube channel is because I wanted to play video games and have a community keep me to playing that game. Because a lot of times I would start a game and then like halfway through I'd quit because I get bored of it, but I want to continue it. I want to find ways to keep it interesting. So like in, in the game of Stellaris I'm playing, uh, it's a pseudo role play, a light role play as I call them, where I am making decisions based on how I think the people in the universe will react to every situation, try to justify everything that's happening, even if it doesn't make any sense, because the which is a lot easier to do when everything is randomized like in Stellaris. Because you can kind of understand where things are going in Hearts of Iron 4. Everyone knows where that's going. Even in Kaiserreich where they had this uh, randomness that can happen and is built into it, you still can see where things are going. You can still rationalize everything. You can still put it all together and still make some sense. Like you go into it with a goal, you finish the goal and you're done. In Stellaris, I have no idea where the game is going to take me. I do not know, and it is very strange to see where things are happening. I, recently, in episodes I don't know if I've come up with, I've made an alliance with an empire of spider people, and I've let them settle in my lands. I've uh, found another uh, empire made of humans out in space. It's just 
it's fun to wander across these kind of things, which is why I'm doing it. So don't worry, I haven't changed my channel to just be Stellaris now. I mean, you need to look at the, just look at the views. You know, I would never change my channel to just being Stellaris with views like that. I'll be back to Hearts of Hand 4 soon enough. It's just I wanted a little bit of a break. And I wanted to just uh, calm myself down. But hopefully if you've, ran if you've sat through all my ramblings during this video, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys, uh, I don't know, past next Sunday. I think that's probably when I'll be off. I mean, after the final, I have about a month until school ramps up again. And work will still be busy, but it won't be that bad. I can, I can record through working eight hours a day. That ain't, that's not too hard. It's just doing it while also doing school. That's the difficult part. Like I said, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.